Hey everybody, AZ Pop Hunter here, and uh, we made it to Flagstaff. Hit the music, hit the title, let's go. All right, guys, as you saw, we are up in Flagstaff. We uh, said it there in the open. We were actually at the Flagstaff Mall, but I'm not going to lie. We went inside the mall. We went into Hot Topic. We went into GameStop. We went into Barnes & Nobles. There was, like, no pops to show off. So we are hoping we can find something for you guys. We are going to stop at Walmart. We are going to stop at Target, see where else we can go. But uh, so far, it's been pretty bleak. Uh, let's get in the car and see what we can find. Yeah, that's cold. All right, guys, we're going to run into Target. I'm not expecting to find anything new, but uh, who knows? Let's get inside and see. All right, so uh, right off the bat, the first thing that catches my eye, they do have the Target Con Diamond Maleficent, which uh, for some reason they are dropping early. I've seen that they are popping up. There is the new Target Con 2023 sticker. I believe these are just repackaged from the uh, pop and shirt combo, but still pretty cool to see. Let's keep looking around. So we dug through everything else, did not really find anything that we hadn't seen before. Do have our Black Panther art series. And uh, I know the Spider-Man was here too. Miles Morales, some Black Adam stuff, Target Superman. I mean, just a lot of stuff that we have seen before. Still no She-Hulk comics. Um, but we definitely are trying to keep our eye out for those. So a lot of the stuff that we see when we're down, of course, in Phoenix, I didn't expect a huge uh, a huge difference between the stores, but it was definitely cool to find these. And uh, yeah, Target Con is coming, so uh, definitely excited to see what else they drop for that. Let's head out. So the pop locations are pretty scarce here. We're not doing too great on finding anything, but they do have a Bookman's, and although I do not love the uh, selection that is at the Bookman's by my house, let's go inside and just hope we find something to show you guys. That is it. But it, uh, it's something better than nothing. So we got back here three pack, Big E, Xavier, and Kofi Kingston. See if we can get a good shot of it. For all the wrestling fans, we do have Loki from Thor The Dark World, Fallout, Crash Bandicoot Sister, Lucius Malfoy, Hot Topic Exclusive. Got some Boba Fett. I mean, nothing that's really, uh, you know, blowing my mind, but God, it's nice to finally just find some pops. Mr. Rogers. And then up here is the ACDC album cover pop. So we found something. So we have not have had the best luck so far up here in Flagstaff, but uh, let's go on the Walmart. Not expecting anything crazy. Probably going to be the same stuff we see down in Phoenix, but uh, we got to give it a shot, right? So the first thing we noticed here, because these were pretty hard to find for a while, the Brave and the Bold. This is the Justice League comic cover and pop. And uh, we already have one of these, but this is just proof that if you wait, you can get it at a good price. I remember they came out and they were selling for like $70, but there seems to be a bunch here and they've definitely dropped in price. So cool to see those. We do have uh, Steph Curry here. Seen that before. We got the Golden Girls Walmart exclusive. A lot of the stuff that we see while we're down in Phoenix. Didn't expect anything new, so uh, not too shocked here. I do like uh, Neville Longbottom though with Honey Dukes. It's all snowy on top just like it is up here. Other than that though, nothing else that we are looking to get. So uh, yeah, glad we checked. Let's head out. So I do not want to say that Flagstaff was a bust. We definitely did not find a lot of places to look for pops. We tried, but uh, there were not a ton out there. Sorry, the wind is blowing and it is freezing out here. So uh, we're actually going to head back down to Phoenix. We're done with our trip. We had a great time. We went sledding, did a bunch of stuff up here. Really, really enjoyed the weather. But now it's cold. We're going to head back to Phoenix, see if we can hit up the pop swap before they're done for the day. So yeah, let's get in the car. And just like that, the drive is over. We are back in May, so we are here at the pop swap. So yeah, let's go look around.
And just like that, we are home. That was our trip to Flagstaff. I really, really did have a great time. We had a blast up there. Unfortunately, not a big place for Funko Pop, so we were not able to show you guys or pick up anything there. We did show you guys a couple of the shops, um, but there wasn't really anything besides the Target and the Walmart. I do know that they have some places at the mall. I promise you we did try. There just wasn't really anything there to show off. So we had a great time, and we made it back with one hour left in the Pop Swap here in Mesa. So a lot of the tables were already putting stuff away. We still got to look at a couple. I'm glad you guys check them out with us. Let's show you guys what we got. I hope you guys are hungry because our Funko Pop pickups definitely involve eating noodles today. This is what we got from the Pop Swap. We did get the Amazon exclusive Goku eating noodles and uh, definitely a really cool pop. And then over here we got Vegeta eating noodles just about to a little too hot for him so he doesn't have them in his mouth yet but still really really cool that we got these definitely excited to get them signed this year and that's it guys we are done for the day you guys have Instagram you want to follow me on there az underscore pop hunter that is me if you guys like the video go ahead give it a like and if you guys like Funko Pops Funko Pop hunting Funko Pop collecting feel free to subscribe to the channel we would love to have you guys join the hunting family we are done for the day but we will see you next time.